this time of year, I see steel weed eaters at yard sales, and here's the problem with them. You go to pull it, and it doesn't want to pull. I mean, you know what I'm saying? And you can look at it, and you're like, oh my goodness, that thing looks brand spanking new. What's the deal? Now, depending on the weed eater, depending if it's a four stroke, everything is basically going to be the same. Now with the spark plug out, look at this. What does that mean? That means if prior to you pulling the spark plug out, it would hardly pull its valves. See, the compression here is telling me, now I have my finger there, right there where the spark plug goes, I got nothing. I mean, I'm really pulling hard, but once I pull out the spark plug, that tells me right up front, there's a 99% chance that's an easy fix. How much of an easy fix? Let's talk about a, this much of an adjustment. Valves, to adjust them, takes 30 seconds in your garage and takes them less than 10 minutes at the store. Well, Matt, That's how it. hard is it to adjust the valves? Well, guys, look at, look at, look at. If you have a four mix, four stroke, you're gonna have to adjust them every six months to a year, depending on how much usage you have of that tool. See this right here? Valves are under here. Three screws to get this off. This is one screw, and then it's gonna show you the valves. And again, you're gonna adjust, okay? according to Guys, this. Each weed eater is going to be a little bit different in how you adjust the valve. Or 99% of the battle is knowing what's wrong with your weed eater. Just take it in, have someone else do it. Because this tool alone is gonna run you like $10. You do get a kit though, so you're gonna get um, a washer. You're gonna get all of these things. You don't have to replace this washer. Many people do once they take this cover off, okay? And you're gonna get a fuel filter. So it's not a bad idea getting this kit and getting everything you need but again you don't want to muck this up and so until you know exactly what you're doing take it to the steel dealer Guys, let me say this i saw a guy doing a tutorial on youtube showing you how to adjust the valves but watching him i could tell that he screwed it up he didn't understand because there's a certain place that you have to have those valves when you're adjusting them and just looking at the video because he had a great video okay the valves were off. There's a certain place where you have to have the valves dealing with the compression, dealing with where they're centered, okay? And this guy honestly probably wrecked the valves on his weed eater because he didn't know what he was doing. And so it is a little bit more difficult than everyone saying, yes, there's a thousand videos on there, how to adjust your valves. Take it to steel, okay? Put it on Just them. Knowing what's wrong with it, is peace of mind because I know the steel dealer is going to take care of it. They always take care of the good stuff. Oh, and this is good, baby. I hope this helped you to diagnose the problem of, you know, I'm saying rope being resistant. Or if you find one at a yard sale and the guy's just blowing it out and he thinks he's pulling one over on you. But really, uh, what's wrong with that thing? It's the valves, sir. I'll take 40 for it. Give you 10. It's the valves. 15. Okay, I'll do 15 for it. Pack it up in the car. Don't even go home. Just go straight to your steel dealership. Drop it off and say, hey, the valves need adjusting. Can I pick this up in an hour? And they might say, no, the mechanic's off today. Can I pick it up Monday? And they'll say, sure, no problem. This helped you out. Boom. Hey guys, we're looking good. We're about four minutes into cooking these. And I have it on high. I don't even need it on high. But these burgers are looking delicious. This grill is fabulous. The best grill I've ever owned. And I've used all the good grills. Guys, look at that. Does that not make you want to just go crazy and come over to my house and eat? Hey, look at, look at, look at. I'm all about that. You come over and I will cook you a burger that will blow your mind apart.